Hey everybody, welcome to the DW's Book Series channel. I'm Christina K R I S T I N A. Ah, I think this is gonna be the last one for a while. I I'm, I'm over it. I'm gonna go into something else here. Um so welcome to the DW's Book Series channel. I'm Christina K R I S T I N A. This is where we read books, talk about books. I do mostly series because I'm a serious person. I like to read about the character progression book to book to book as a mystery is solved or something like that. Don't forget Star Trek Fridays. That's a series. We have character progression. We may have a plot line solved each episode, but we still have character progression. Um, this is, I think this is going to be the last Anita Blake for a while. There are two more up there. Maybe I'll get to them next year, but I'm kind of done with it right now. Um, so here we are. Uh, Dead Eyes. As you know, I'm a big audio book person too. So most of my books I have in both form. Um, if you've seen my J.D. Robb videos, and I'll do some more of those in a couple days, um, some of the early ones I have both in hardcover and paperback and audio. I got to cut this hair. So anyways, today we are talking Anita Blake, a Laurel K. Hamilton, Dead Ice. And it's, it's a combination of angst, and some, hold these words, not much, some. We start the book out with Anita hanging out with some FBI agents viewing some porn flicks. Apparently someone has raised uh, zombies from the grave and has made them life-like enough that people will pay money to have adult activities with. And uh, it's pretty sick. But that's like the first five chapters. Then cup six, chapter six and seven, we hang out with John Claude. We're picking out wedding rings. Then we're talking about the ceremony. And Micah comes in and brings up Sinric. And there's a whole bunch of relationship angst. Um, that's basically it. I've got so much notes here. Um... So then, um, there's a whole bunch of re relationship angst, uh, a whole bunch of different people, Nikki, Magna, uh, a new, a new girl comes into it. So there's a whole bunch of relationship angst. Anita goes to a cemetery, she's gonna go raise the dead, and, um, we get more relationship angst at this, at the cemetery. So then, um, she has to sacrifice a cow. For the ritual, I don't like that. I didn't like that part of the story at all. I thought she was pretty much past that, but I, I guess I forgot. She raises the guy from the dead, Thomas Warrington. They request to take him off the cemetery, so they do that. Um, Anita goes back. There's some more relationship angst. Um, a lot more ang relationship angst. Raphael comes by, gets injured. There's him, relationship angst with him. Then we discover that the family has taken the dead guy to Denny's, and it's against health codes, and apparently he ate some human flesh, so it gave him some extra powers. And um, so then we go handle him, put him back in the grave. Apparently he was still alive because he ate the human flesh. So we need to call Manny, call Zabrowski, calls people in. They go to the cemetery. They got to fix this situation. Another situation arises at the cemetery. And then we got to go back and have a whole string of relationship angst with Asher, Kane, Narcissus. It's just, it's just, I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much done with this right now. Um, so then we have a whole bunch of more relationship angst. Then the bad guy from uh, the zombie porn film shows up and um, takes Manny's kids hostage. And there's a whole situation that plays out with that. So there you go. That's Dead Eyes, Laura K. Hamilton. Uh, I've got a special request to my exhibitionist over here. Um... I've got this wish to have a thousand likes by Christmas. I know it's going to be hard. Um, probably won't happen. But 
I'm trying, so please hit the like and subscribe. Let me know I'm doing a good job. I'm just reading books, talking books. There are no special effects here. It's just what you see is what you get. I'm sorry. Um, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. She does not want to be on camera. Oh, well. So, anyway, have a good one. Enjoy your day. Have a good one. Bye.